death of Cyanogen mod came a hype about the new OS that was being built on top of Cyanogen mod that was that was about to keep the spirits of Cyanogen mod alive that would allow us to install custom ROMs that those custom ROMs that we have been knowing for so many years Resurrection Remix, CR Droid and lot of stuff but the CR but the Lineage OS ROM was the Lineage OS codes to be very specific was released on the 31st of December and on the 1st we got the Lineage OS ROM for the Redmi Note 3 the very first Lineage OS ROM for the Redmi Note 3 so yeah the hype they lived up to the hype the developers have finally created the Lineage OS ROM and today let's just not waste time and let's once again get into business as we always have been getting into business and you guys have been liking my videos a lot so this is perhaps my fastest video the Yesterday only I posted a video and this is part of my fastest video and so yeah let's today let's get into business one more time one more time guys so let's look at how to install and a quick overview and what else do you get with the new lineage OS which is based on Android 7.1 on the Redmi Note 3 and this is Jadito here from Freaks and Geeks and if you're wondering why I'm wearing this hat my hair is currently in very bad condition and you don't want to see your boy in a retarded position right let's get started as always you know I keep repeating this in every video but uh, I do feel the need of repeating it in this video as well so here it goes again uh, do ensure that you have a rooted redmi note 3 and you have a custom recovery like twrp or cwm recovery installed on your device go ahead to the description box below and download each and every link that is given there the rom and everything the gapps package and the voldy patch then go ahead switch off your phone and press the volume up button and the power button to boot into twrp recovery once you are up go to wipe advanced wipe Dalvik system data and cache and just swipe to confirm wipe so after you are done with that as well go to install and guys uh, there is a peculiar way of installing this whole process because if you want to get VoLTE then carefully follow this process first you need to go to install and select from wherever you have stored your downloaded files first you need to install CM14 firmware then go to add more zips select the ROM package then once again go to add more zips select opengf 7.1 pico and finally it's up to you that if you want to flash pixel experience zip or not so once you are up with the entire installing process just go back and hit wipe go to advanced wipe and select dalvik art and cache that's all and then swipe to wipe so after done with that as well go to reboot and hit system so this will boot your device into the rom and i am fast forwarding things to save you some time so after the entire long process, once you are successfully booted into the ROM, there is one more little thing that you need to do uh, to completely enable VoLTE and enjoy Geo4G calling. So there is one little thing that needs to be flashed, just power off your device and I am once again speeding things up to save you some time. So once you are into TWRP recovery, there is one little thing that need to be flashed again uh, to enable the VoLTE feature in this ROM and I am going to show you that. Uh, basically it's something called the Lineage OS VoLTE ROM patch. So let's just select it and then swipe to confirm flash to install it. And after you have completed installing it, just hit reboot and hit system. And we are into the ROM guys. So let's just start with the overview part part so let's just quickly head on to settings and let's just quickly go to the thing that interests us that is to the about phone tab and here as you can see it states lineage os 14.1 it also states the, the lineage os updates but on checking that i couldn't find any and this rom is based on android 7.1 just in case you wanted to know so interesting part is basically over guys so let's just quickly quickly scroll through the settings page and basically see what else do we have here display adaptive brightness which on okay so it helps me helps me so yeah that's the basic list so let's head on to buttons and see what we have over here so on screen nav bar and you can use this instead of hardware keys and rest is basic stuff okay so now quickly going back into settings and what do we have over here we okay let's move into status bar and what we have status bar icons okay switch on the headset one going back okay clock style center or right you can select the position whichever you want to select going back we can see battery percentage and it can be inside 
the battery's text uh, style icon or whatever and yeah that's pretty much it from settings okay so now moving into the gripes or the bugs of this rom it's the same bug that was found in cm 14.1 it has come over here also so it's basically in the camera so once you go into video recording mode it will not allow you to do a video because once you start the video recording it will automatically stop the recording why i have no idea but it looks like that the developers have not yet fixed the bug that was there in the old version so after we are done with the gripes it's time for some pros right it's time for some pros with this rom so let me just show you that geo 4g is working so as you can see google play store just opened up so this proves that internet is working because geo 4g 4g bug that is a data toggle bug i have not encountered that more of our calls are also working so let me just show you that as well so yeah that's pretty much it so here is once again a quick demo of the 3d touch on this rom as well so to be very true guys i didn't find anything interesting in this rom it's exactly a copy of cm 14.1 i'll say that you stay in whichever rom you are currently in be the resection remix or any rom because i'll not suggest this rom to you guys so yeah in and out my full overview of the rom and how to install it so that leads me to the question of today that do you think that lineage os is truly different from cyanogen mod 14.1 that actually was do you think that Lineage OS should improve on what customization options that it should offer with Android 7.1? And do leave your comments, do leave your opinions in the comment section below and do tell me that if you want more Lineage OS videos on the UE4, I will be making those videos uh, however. But uh, that's, uh, that's pretty much it guys, if this video was helpful to you, do hit that subscribe button and stay subscribed because more videos on the redmi note 3 and the u euphoria are coming to come very soon and do press the like button because as you know constructive criticism is always welcome if you have any questions do leave them in the comment section i'll try to reply to them so yeah that's uh, pretty much it guys uh, that's pretty much for all for today and uh, until next time see you in my next video and as always stay a freak and stay a geek and keep supporting me and uh, do keep watching my videos until next time peace